Back in the swing of things, student athletes who suffered emotionally when the pandemic changed the way they had to practice and play their games. But the restrictions and lockdowns are a thing of the past so far. TV5's Colette Stinger takes us out to the ball field where the new normal is about going back to normal. With a base hit to left field, Caleb Buda drives in a run and brings Delta to within one. I feel like I'm a better player, a better leader, and a, honestly, a better man. Caleb says he's better because strict COVID protocol didn't strike him out. Strike. They made him stronger. Now he's living his best life in his new normal, doing what he loves, playing baseball with no constraints, enjoying his teammates up close. He feels so much better. He even tells his buddies how they can hit a home run, living a new normal. Do everything you can to, to better yourself every day, mentally and physically, being a positive force in a negative situation. It's been a little tougher for 21-year-old Delta softball player Avery Noah said she's still trying to adapt to a new normal. Adapting was huge, especially on the fly, because we had to learn how to be more comfortable in an uncomfortable setting. But being with her teammates is helping her pull through. We can actually be out here, no masks, talking like we are now. It's really cool to me. Cool to 17-year-old Saginaw Heritage High School junior Carrington Pryor is playing football. That's a big part of his new normal. It's a real dedication to play football, but I absolutely love it. I love every minute of it. The brotherhood that you get with football teammates, you just can't beat it anywhere else. But during COVID, sports looked and felt different, and Carrington's grades took a hit. I didn't like it because I'm always an A-B student in school, so it, it was different, struggling in school for the first time, so I had to learn how to adjust, and you know, there were a lot of low moments, but I just had to persevere. Carrington credits his parents, Reverend Chris and Kenyatta Pryor, for helping him persevere, get his grades back on track, prepare for college, and his athletic aspirations. We're just, you know, trying to help him as best as we can as he's preparing to go to college next year to do all that we can to make up for a little bit of deficit that we had during his COVID year um, to give him the best opportunities for college admissions, scholarships and things like that. So we're navigating that path now. I'm excited for him, uh, excited that he's able to interact with his friends and all those. So this new normal. Um, has kind of gone back to being able to interact. We still take precaution right, and right. being mindful of, you know, different areas, um, but he's done very good. And so is Sugar Beet softballer, 10-year-old Rael Thompson. That's seems pretty good. Rael's hitting it out of the park with no lockdowns. Her new normal looks a lot like this. Good catch, Rael. Running and playing softball every chance she gets. I get to be with my friend a lot, and it, it's one of my favorite sports. Ryle's dad and coach, Ryan, is right by her side, making sure she gets to be a kid again in their new normal. Now we're just trying to play catch up from having a couple years off um, and just working to make sure they're having fun. Fun? Well, that pretty much sums up 14-year-old Aiden LaFon's new normal, jam-packed with a ton of baseball and sunshine. It feels a, a lot better than it did when we were stuck at home. Aiden's dad, Adam, says he is doing everything to make sure Aiden doesn't ever feel stuck again and taking it one base at a time. It's great. It's like we celebrate. It's a new uh, new beginning, new life, and and uh, I'm just glad it's all over with. <laughs> I mean, I feel it like, like it is. So the big question is, why are they so excited about the new normal? Why? Because we're outside! Outside and together. I heard that a lot from all the kids. Gotta love it. Colette Stinger, WNEM TV 5 News.